plaintiff, Jonathan Steffen, dated the defendant and they have a child together. But he claims from the past three years they have been in and out of court because she's been keeping his child from him. Jonathan's suing his ex today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Sarah Baden says Jonathan is a violent drunk who was arrested three times for physically abusing her. Sarah insists she never borrowed any money from Jonathan. Tell me what happened. Um, well, hopefully today we can settle one of the final disputes between us. I mean, she's the mother of my daughter. We've been in and out of court for the last three years and had multiple different altercations as with what my type daughter's of custody. Uh, altercations? Not physical, right? Sometimes they turn physical, yeah. Since you all have been separated even? No, this was in the beginning of okay. our relationship. I mean, yeah. we just went out and literally drank gallons okay. of beer. It was out. Go home and fight about it. Gotcha. Understood. What's been going on the last three years, you say? We've been in and out of court. Uh, Custody? Because she, was, she tried taking me out of my daughter's life, and I kept having to go back to court. How so? Uh, just by stopping me from seeing her for a couple periods of time, 30 days. Uh, I'd had to retain attorneys, get a guardian that lead them for my daughter. Um, all kinds of just courtroom. Let me hear ruckus. from her about this before we get to the loan, ma'am. All right. Yep, that is correct. Um, we did meet in the spring of 2006 and it was at a bar. And from the very beginning of the relationship, it was a very... John was drunk and, he, and when he would drink, it he would become very violent. Um, there have been three occasions, one in particular that was really bad in 2006, where literally he chased me down the street while he was punching himself in the face, tackled me to the ground and bit my ear like Mike Tyson. That's not true, Your Honor. I have all three of the police reports here and the charges brought against him with him pleading guilty to them and he was on probation for all three of them. I never pled guilty to any charge. It, they're all right there. How recent was the guilty plea? Well, they, they pushed all the cases together. Uh -huh. And and so they kept pushing out the dates. So I believe 2006. Okay. And I also appeared on, on those court okay. cases because I was pregnant with this child. And I didn't want to have a baby with him in jail. Okay. I wanted to try to make it work because I was pregnant. Okay. We didn't know she was what pregnant. What about uh, the last three years? He says you've been uh, withholding custody or intervening in his visitation rights. Well, um, my daughter has my last name. She, his name was not on the birth certificate. Paternity was never established. And basically because of a violent altercation. Do you believe he's the father? Yes, he is. We did have a paternity well, where hearing. Where are we going through all this for? But <laughs> all right, let's get to the loan, sir. Okay, um, I gave her a loan for $1,200. When? In March 3rd, 2007, for what a down, was the agreement? Uh, that she would pay me back out of her next year's tax returns. So that would have been when? Whenever she received her taxes in 08? Yep. Okay. And what happened? Uh, so Have you I received her, anything yet? No, I haven't received a cent. All right, let me ask her, ma'am. What do you say about the loan? Um, John did not give me any money for this car. He said he didn't. He said he loaned you the money for I the understand that. In uh, March... Or February 2007, mm -hmm. I got my tax returns and I needed a car for my child that I was having because the only vehicle we had between the two of us was an S10 pickup truck with mud tires on it that didn't even have reverse. So I went to my mother because I had $882 with my tax return money here with additional money that I did have saved up. Let's see it, please. Saved up for the... Um, the car mm -hmm. and my mom basically refused to put her name on the car because I didn't have a valid driver's license at the time and I needed a co-signer and the reason why was because of the altercations between John and I she refused to do it as long as he was in my life it says 06 man well you for 07 that was my tax return that I filed for the previous year for, yeah I know in the previous year he said it was 07 and you would have received the money in 08 well I, okay the tax return I received in the beginning of 07 was 
the money from the previous year. He said that you were to pay him in 08. But 08, and that I, the loan I didn't, was made in 07. He didn't borrow me any money, though. That was the money yeah. I used for that cash down payment. That was my money, not his money. I'm telling you that okay, he did so not give me any money. So you purchased the car in, in 07. Right. I purchased right, the car in 07. The, let's, see, and let's see evidence of when you bought the car. Well, this is my mom's no, statement. No, 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 no. And evidence then, of when you bought the car. Not your mother telling you whatever. You know why you came here today. All my finance papers for the car, because I have all of the paperwork. Do you have any evidence, car. sir? Yes, sir. I have the receipt for the down payment right from the all car dealership. All right, here we go. He, that's just for the down payment, supposedly. Our names are on everything together. Down payment for what? The down payment for the car. I paid. You just said he never gave anything. Our name, no. No, 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 no. Let's go back to what we were just discussing. He said you owe him 1200 And I do not. Because he put it on the car. You said he gave me zero. He did give me car. zero dollars, but Pardon we me? both went in. He gave me zero dollars. Right. But we were both there at the same time, and our name is on everything Your together. Your name isn't on anything here. Here is all the paperwork yeah, for the car. Yeah, but here's the receipt. And this is all the paperwork Show me your for the receipt, car. ma'am. What is that? What and I have all that? of the payment information sure. oh, have your all payment. in my there name. There you go. All Just the payment information why is, it in is her my name, name, sir. The car is co-titled in our names, and I put my name on the title as collateral for repayment for that down payment. You got it? Over. All the statements you and bank it, history are all right here, all in my name. I, I don't have to look at it. He just told me why. I'll take a look for fun. <laughs> Okay. Like he said, both your names, and he said the reason he put his name on it so that he can make sure he gets his money. How do you explain the receipt, man? But that's the only thing that I guess doesn't that's have my name. That's all you need on. is a receipt. But everything else, those are all my statement receipts for the ten thousand dollars I paid for the car. I know, but here's twelve hundred that he put down on it. Yep. And then he's also the done car. things like steal the plates, cancel the registration. We're not which... talking about that, ma'am. You keep skipping this subject like you started off, and that's what rubbed me wrong about you. I knew this was going to be tough about you when I asked if you were denying visitation. You still haven't said no. Your answer was, "My child doesn't have the same last name. I uh, never established paternity on paper because be I wanted." To prove how bush. violent he was, so because I didn't want that in my daughter's life. The car is co titled in our names, and I put my name on the title as collateral for repayment for that down payment. You got delivery. it? All the statements you and bank it, history are all right here, all in my name. I, I don't have to look at it, he just told me why. I'll take a look for fun. <laughs> Plaintiff Jonathan Stephan is suing his ex-girlfriend, who claims Jonathan was arrested three times for physically abusing her. How much did you put down on the car? Twelve hundred dollars. All right. How much did you save from your tax return? The eight hundred and eighty-two dollars mm -hmm. went directly to that twelve hundred. I got that money in February of two thousand and eight, and I walked in the dealership. Ma'am, you say you got the money in 07, right? <laughs> I got the yeah and. I filed. I, that, that, you you file your, your taxes or not? In January. So why do you think he's doing this, ma'am? Just trying to trick you. Why is he doing because this? Because he has multiple times where he's taken me to court just to make my life a living hell. I've gotten charges dismissed on false so disorderly conduct charges. That's why he's here. Your charges. answer is he's here today to make your life a living hell. <laughs> that's this is why the last he's doing thing he this. has on me, ma'am. My qu <laughs> very simple question: You believe he's suing you today just to make? Yeah. Your life and a also, living hell. Also, you believe he committed fraud upon the court. No, I'm not saying that. Got a that. receipt, signed his name to make your life a living hell. No, I'm not saying that. But he's also being sued right now for $1,200 as well by his attorney from mm -hmm. our custody battle that was just filed in May. And now all of a sudden my father passed away and my mom bought me another car due to him canceling my registration and stealing plates off of my car, which I also have proof of that so I didn't have to deal with that problems anymore. He's seeing dollar signs because he thinks I got left money. I don't have any money. Sir, you're suing her because she just ran into some money? No, I'm suing her because she owes me money. Okay, what other evidence do you have? I have uh, the the original petition I filed for custody after she stopped me from seeing my daughter. What year was that? Uh, 2008, January. And, and right here I have my attorney specifically asking for a determination with this vehicle. 
The party own a vehicle which is jointly titled. It is a 2001 Saturn subject to a debt secured by it. The petitioner proposes that he be reimbursed. That was in family $1, court. $1,200. That, that, that was in family court. That was in family court and it, it was never brought up. When? It was brought up in family court in the very beginning uh -huh. of January in 2008. Do you recall just telling and me? And the judge be never quiet, brought it be up. Be quiet, you liar. <laughs> remember telling me that he only asked for this money because he owes an attorney suddenly and he heard you got money does me for the plaintiff Thank you, Your Honor. she's been trying to make me out to be a wife beater drunken since day one and uh that is completely not the case it's kind of funny because all the police reports and everything he got charged and i didn't and there's pictures of me being you know beaten bruised and bitten um i'm just looking to get my title signed so you can quit hanging this over my head seeing as you can't sue me again for it